Hi, and thanks for joining me. My name is Elle McCann, and I am with Curious Themes Web Development Studio. Today we're going to be walking through setting up Google Analytics for your online Shopify store. And although Shopify does have recordings and reports already in your Shopify backend, it is also nice to link to Google Analytics as well. And today we're going to walk you through that. So first, we are on Google Analytics um, website, which is google.com backslash analytics, which you can see up here. We are going to go to sign in and we're going to sign into my account and here we're going to hit Google Analytics. And this is going to sign you into your overall account. So if you have a couple different properties, you'll see all of those here, which these are our different clients. So we're going to set up a new one. So at the top, we're going to go to admin and we're going to create new account down here. So now this is where we're going to enter our information about our online shop. So we are going to just put in the name here. For the website, we need to capture the um, website address and we'll put that in here. We're going to put Shopify class, since this is a tutorial, put class here. And then for the website URL, we're going to go to our online backend, which I have open another tab, and I'm just going to copy that. it there. For industry industry category, this is going to give you information about how you compare to others in your industry. So we are going to just select one and we're going to do the online shopping. Since this is an online store with the Shopify platform, we're going to change our time zone. So it's the most up to date reporting. I'm going to leave all of this checked since this is data sharing across different platforms with Google and it's all just recommended. So we're going to hit get tracking ID and we have to accept that. So now this is your tracking code. So once we implement this code on your site, you'll start seeing information about your store and your traffic and where they're coming from all in your Google Analytics account. So we're going to copy this tracking code. And then we're going to head back to our online Shopify store. So this is how we're going to actually put this in on our site. So now that we're back into the online backend of Shopify, we're going to go under settings and online store. And now we have this area here for Google Analytics. So we're just going to paste in what we just copied and hit save. And as soon as we do that, you can see that this tracking code the 58-1 is now matching up with this here, and this will start showing information. And so now it is all linked, and in the next few videos, we're going to go through how to set up different conversion goals and what information you need to be looking for when viewing the data information from Google Analytics.